Welcome to our video series on cybersecurity careers. We live in a digital era where everything from personal information to national security is vulnerable to cyber attacks. Computer and network professionals defend our systems by working in information technology jobs related to cybersecurity. In this five part video series, workers from a wide range of cybersecurity fields will share with you their work, their career paths, and the study and certifications that are needed in their professions. We hope that their stories will inspire you to learn more about this rapidly growing, high demand field, which offers excellent pay and high job satisfaction. My name is Ellen Nadeau, and I work at the National Institute of Standards and Technology for the Privacy Engineering Program, and I do policy work. So I've been interested in security and privacy for quite a while now. Um, when I was about 14 years old, a girl who lived near me was kidnapped by somebody she met online. And she was around my age, and she looked a little bit like me, and it hit me quite hard. So um, I knew I wanted to take some action, and I ended up starting a student organization at my high school. There were about a dozen of us, and we trained with our local FBI and ended up teaching, giving presentations to students, parents, and teachers all about how to stay safe online. This was in the days of MySpace, and kids were increasingly spending time on social media. And so, um, so we gave quite a few presentations, and I loved that work. I did it all throughout high school. And I ended up in D.C. actually interning with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Um, so from there, um, when I went to college, I decided to keep pursuing these issues, but from different angles. So in undergrad, I actually studied organizational industrial psychology, particularly interested in how companies adopt new technologies and change management. Um, and then in graduate school, I ended up shifting to the policy side of things. So I pursued my master's of public administration, um, and I focused on cybersecurity policy. I don't know if there is such a thing as a traditional pathway in cybersecurity. I think that's something I like the most about the space is it requires such an interdisciplinary approach. I'll often be at tables with a lawyer, an economist, a more technical engineer, uh, and requires all those skill sets to really, to really do the work we need to do. So in graduate school, I was interested in technology and cybersecurity and found out about the Scholarship for Service program, um, which I ended up being selected for. Um, basically, the government supports students studying cybersecurity, pay for tuition and additional costs as well. And then in exchange, when you graduate, you work for the government. Um, and for me, this was a really great way to have an interdisciplinary education because I did not have a strong technical background. And so I was in the school in the School of Public Service taking policy and management classes, but then also half my classes were at the School of Engineering where I was getting the technical background too. Hi, my name is Jennifer Romero and I am the CVN 78 Ford Aircraft Carrier Operational Test and Evaluation Team Lead and Cybersecurity Subject Matter Expert. One of the things that I've learned in this, this career field is I don't know that there is a conventional career path. I, I started out in the Air Force about 24 years ago and I just retired six months ago and started out in information management. You know, where does our data go? Where do we, how do we uh, store our information securely and make sure that we can find it and all that sort of thing. And then about two years into my career, they said, oh, we're going to get rid of that career field. You need to go find another job. And I ended up in IT, communications, and had to start all over again and learning networks and radio and you name it. You learn it all. And I did that for about another 10 years and then went off to get a master's degree. And in the process of getting my master's degree, they said, okay, you may pick a track. And I chose information assurance, which has now become cybersecurity. Went from there and had the opportunity to uh, deploy to Afghanistan as the chief of Afghan cyber defense and learn there's cybersecurity and then there's real world cybersecurity, the bad guys trying to get you. And just 
fell in love with it, came back from that, and then realized that it's not just about your experience and the school and the, the degrees you may have. In our world, it's, it's your certifications. What certs do you have? And with two masters and you know bachelor's degree and all this other experience, people kept saying, well, what, what certifications do you have? So I decided, okay, better hit the books again and got my CISSP. And from there went on to, to do more interesting things in the cybersecurity realm, including running the Joint Information Operations Range and learned a lot about cyber ranges, and uh, both in the government and academia and in industry. So it's maybe not been the most traditional path with deciding, hey, I'm going to go get an information systems security degree at a four-year college and then go work and do that. But it seems to have worked out okay. My name is Terrell Jones. I work for Huntington Ingalls, Newport News Shipbuilding, and specifically, my role is a Computer Systems Security Analyst 3. Now, coming into this field, in order to be successful, there are certain skills that you gotta have in order to, one, make yourself attractive to certain companies that you wanna get into, or, and, or, be able to use these skills in order to excel with once you actually get into the job. So certain things as far as being adaptable, because you never know what's going to break. You never know what things, what you have to change directions on the drop of a dime. You got to be able to critically think and not just say, hey, you know, I see it this perspective and this is the only way that I, I know how to solve this problem. You got to be able to look at a 360 scan of whatever the problem is in order to, you know, in order to excel. Um, you also have to be able to not only work by yourself on some projects, but you also got to be able to work within a team. So communication skills, and you got to be also able to take whatever the problem that you're working on is technical, right? Usually, you're in a cybersecurity field. But also, you have to be able to translate that into something that your higher level managers can understand and something that they can see in terms of the things that that's important to them so they can make the best decisions for the direction of the business. What I would really say to students is, you know, you just have to jump in, you know, just jump in. If you initially have it in your heart to go into the cybersecurity field because you want to make a difference, you want to be able to jump into this field because you know where the world is going, is going more towards, you know, technology. And, the, and I tell students this all the time that the more that technology comes out, the more things, regular devices, stoves, um, you know, washing machines, the more things that that technology is going to be incorporated in is also going to you're going to also need more cybersecurity in order to secure those devices as well. So, you know, this is a growing field. Just know that it's, it is going to be hard, but you, it's, it's going to be necessary in order for you to succeed in a field for you to be able to overcome problems and you be able to, to learn. You learn as an earnest. You know, you've heard it before. So you, you really have to understand that you have to take your abilities, the natural abilities that you have, apply it to cybersecurity and be able to learn the rest and be adaptable along the way. <laughs>